Welcome back to the Weird and Proud Podcast. It's Sam. And... There's a little remix at the beginning. Yes. And... James. James and Kiara. Loudest can you hear that purr? I'm wondering if you guys can hear that purr. I have a cat um, that is sitting right next to me. She has the loudest purr in the entire world, which could actually i'm kind of worried her she's had a little bit of raspiness lately positive we're a little worried. positive vibes so we actually are taking her to bed um and if you've been around if there's a chance that you've been following for a while you will know kiara's had quite a health history so um anytime i bring her to the bed i freak out but prayers everything's good and prayers everyone survived thanksgiving how oh. Hope everyone survived the family. Everyone families. survived. How was your Thanksgiving, James? Oh, I saw you for most of it, so it was fabulous. <laughs> oh my God. Um, yes. Thank you for asking about my Thanksgiving. Oh, um, wait. Yeah, is this something What'd you want to ask me? <laughs> we know, but the people don't, James. No, okay, true. you gotta play along. Um, we went up to Maine. Yes. And saw my fam, my whole family, obviously, as you guys know, is up in Maine. And uh, yeah, it was freezing and ate a lot of food. I think we had turkey for like every meal the last three days. Which was beautiful. It was and delicious. it was gorgeous. There's nothing like the leftover sandwiches. No, nothing turkey, like it. Yeah, leftover Thanksgiving is always. Is kind of the best. Kind of. Honestly, probably one of my favorite sandwiches ever. Like a Thanksgiving. You'll get it any time. Like if yeah. you see, if I see it a on a menu, Thanksgiving style sandwich on a menu in July, yeah. you don't care. It's not yeah. Thanksgiving. You're getting it. Yeah. No. I'm, I've seen it. Yeah, I will fuck up a Thanksgiving turkey sandwich. Yeah, like will. no one's business. And it better have goddamn stuffing on it. Stuffing and it better have cranberry. Don't. Yeah. Don't tell me it's a Thanksgiving ca- sandwich without stuffing. Yeah. No no, no. 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 Stupid. No. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving and obviously we have a great show with some Thanksgiving stories. Yes. People share some stories. Yes. We got some good stories from Thanksgiving. Um, some of your weirdest stories. So those are amazing. We obviously have some weird news. We have a little bit of catch up. I've been dying to tell you guys about the hacker. That hacked into oh the my podcast. God, and this is real. This isn't even. This made is up. real. I would never make anything up. No, I know, but there are so many stories out there that we read oh. and question. But your story oh, is right, 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 right. Um, yeah. So, long story short, I, I I know a couple of you guys. Well, a lot of you guys had noticed it. Um, right around the same time I did, and it was really when we came back from Fiji because obviously we had uploaded. A podcast when we were in Fiji, which took forever to upload just because their Wi Fi isn't fast. So I had to like keep my laptop open like pretty much for like 12 hours to upload the videos. And, um, but you know, we got home, we recorded the podcast for the next one. And, you know, I'm sitting down to my computer to upload and it's like eight o'clock at night. And, I'm going to upload it and I'm going, you know, I, I use Spotify. There's Spotify for podcasters. You guys probably see there is a little like promo in the beginning um, of the episodes. So I go to log in and it's like username, like basically email and password are not recognized. And I'm like, what? And like, even I was like trying to reset the password and I'm like, did I maybe, you know, like something with the password? Did I mess it up somehow? And it like, locked me out basically Ugh. and i'm like that is so bizarre so then you know i'm like going on through my emails i'm, go- I'm like did something like get you know like that something had up- been updated nothing so then i just go to like search for because like my email wasn't popping up and then i was even like searching because it was like you can also like look up your podcast by the name And I would look up weird and proud and it just wouldn't be there. And I was like, what is going on? So I even go to like, you know, the Apple podcast app. I go to Spotify. I'm like searching weird and proud. Nothing's coming up. 
I'm like, it's like nine, you know, nine o'clock at Panic night. At this oh, one. you were, yeah. I couldn't believe how long you were up here. Yeah, James like, what have you been doing up here? So I'm starting to freak out. And, you know, it's like nine o'clock at night. But thank God Spotify did have their support, which they, you know, I kind of complained. They did take forever to kind of like reinstate it. You know, obviously, spoiler alert, <laughs> everything ended up being fine. But um, I was on like the basically have like an online chat and I was online with them until like 2 a.m. And then they were finally and they were trying to verify. They were like, you know, we can't, you know, we can't find like anything that would say that your account was hacked. And like they went in and changed my email, like all of the information, my email, my name. So it was like under a completely different name. It was under like you know, they had, like, spelled my name wrong. Like, it was, like, Sam Ramsdiel. Like That's kind of fancy. <laughs> yeah, right? I like it. And, like, the email was, like, samantha.ramsdiel at hotmail.com. Ramsdiel. Yeah. And then they changed the name of the podcast. They changed it to Completely Weird, which is so, like, I, I was just, like, I don't, I can't even explain how this happened. And, like, even the support people, like, I think to some extent they were like, are you trying to hack this? You know? They, like, are you hacking Yeah, because to account? them it looked like, like, I couldn't confirm my email. I couldn't confirm my name, my last name. They're like, it's not right. It's not spelling it right. I couldn't confirm, like, basically they, you know, they needed to know, like, when I had created my Spotify account, the okay. day I created it. And I just couldn't find it either. Like, I was like, I don't know if I just deleted the original email, but. Like, literally nothing was going right. Anyways, they were like, all right, we're going to have to elevate this. And, you know, it wasn't until, like, three days later that finally they got back to me. It was way later. I distinctly remember being like, oh, wow, that just got resolved. Yeah, email. yeah. And so, you know, and in the meantime, they're emailing me, and they're, like, trying to get confirmation on certain things. Anyway, so I don't know. Like, we were trying to figure out, like, you know, why someone would have done that. And we were kind of guessing that maybe um and one of the questions even spotify to ask me was like you know were you on you know any insecure networks like have you shared your password or like would have anyone been on your you know computer your account and we were like oh my god well we were in fiji you know obviously we were on their their wi-fi network and i had to leave my computer up for so long being on the wi-fi network that you know, one of my friends was like, there's probably a good chance that someone had hacked in and, you know, was he was able to, like, get your information. And maybe because I had all the spot, you know, I literally had all the podcast stuff up on my computer. Someone, like, went in and, and saw my information. So, and, and I don't know why they, like, changed the name. I mean, I was trying to think, like, maybe, you know, a lot of times people, too, once they can hack into an account, which happens a lot with social media like you always hear about people who have their facebook or their instagram or whatever hacked um a lot of the times it's like a bribe like they'll be like hey i'll give this back to you that's what i was waiting for yeah like well, i'll give you it back if you give me you know ten thousand dollars or whatever you know 500 bucks whatever or you know they try to sell it you know because it's like you know, there's a certain amount of subscriptions now and people who follow the podcast on Apple. And obviously it kept, you know, like if you had already been following my podcast, Weird and Proud, it would have automatically had you be already following the completely weird yep. podcast. So like, you know, if you have now they could sell that if someone like wanted to start a podcast, you could be like, hey, we already have this podcast that has this, has this amount of followers. Do you want to buy it? You know, type of thing. We'll sell it to you for $500. Right, right. So anyways, so that was kind of the deal. And that was me just, you know, freaking out. I know a lot of people had sent messages being like, what is going on with your podcast? So apologies for the delays. Um, luckily, YouTube, you know, has always been steady and never had any issues with that. Thank God. But a lot of like, you know, because that is like you know one of my greatest fears is being hacked on my you know yeah. if i lost like my tiktok or instagram you know that would be detrimental to <laughs> that's which is like sad but true you know scary that it's like that i that's like you my job it's extremely hard to build it too that's yeah. the thing it's more 
that the work that's been put into it to lose something yeah. you work that hard on. Yeah. And so a lot of those, like, you know, I have like the two step verifications, like the mold, like you basically need like a blood sample and like my, yeah. you know, to log into my social media. And they make it very medias. obvious how to do it. But the other one, it sounds like that there's. Yeah, a the podcast little, just, just wasn't as secure. Less secure yeah. yeah. And I never even thought of like someone would hack into the pot. You know, it was like, I just. Who knew? Never even thought of that. So, anyways, that's the story. But thank goodness we are um, we're good to go. That and was that was I, that wasn't fun. Oh my god! Well, it was just like yeah, that pit you know in your stomach yeah. feeling, and then I could not sleep. Like you know, all, already we were having like sleeping issues <laughs> with the we jet were lag. Already on jet lag. But like I could not sleep. I was just like, I'm like, what am I gonna do? But. Anyways, Work first out. world problems. Um, so anyways, James, anything you else you want to tell the people? Anything um, on your mind? No, nothing big on the mind. I'm excited to hear some of the secrets and uh, yeah. see what story. You told me you had found a secret story. I did. And also, you know, I was talking, I was thinking too, if we like had any weird watches. I know we've been, we did a ton of weird watches last week and kind of like a content catch up coming back from Fiji. And I couldn't really think we hadn't, you know, just because Thanksgiving was this week, there was nothing. Did you, was there anything that we. No, I would say just a follow up on the ones that we binge watched while we were trying to get off Fiji time. Yep. Like looking at some of those, if anyone, if you haven't seen those or if you have, if you don't know what we're talking about, maybe go back and listen to that episode. Yes. And I do need to make a list and I need to like post this somewhere because everyone's like, you keep making those recommendations, but then. You know, it, we you know, I lose stuff, it somewhere. Yeah. So I need to like make a list of like all because we have watched a lot of really good documentaries. Well, now it's also it's Christmas movie season. I'm prepared to I talk know. about Christmas now because it's after Thanksgiving. I was thinking that that you know we should make a list because I'd made a list of Halloween. We already started with Elf and yep. Four Christmases. Yes. We didn't stay awake through either of them, but we did. I watched flip Four Christmases. Did you? I did not. I fell asleep. Four Christmases, I think, is one of the most underrated Christmas movies. I think it is too. I laugh out loud every time. Every time. And I think I've also seen that movie probably like 500 times there's, at this point. Uh, there's so many good, so many good actors. Such good physical humor mm-hmm. stuff that, you know, I love. Um, so that's probably one of my top, like Elf and Four Christmases are like two of my I know top Four Christmases is one you need. Yeah. And I'll, we'll probably watch that again just because my, it's too good. My all time and always will be my all time favorite, not just Christmas movies, but movies in general is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. <gasps> True. That's another one. Elf is my number two, hands down. Yep. But my number one will always forever be. National Lampoon's Christmas yeah, Vacation. Yeah, that is top two. But, you know, then another one is The Grinch with Jim Carrey. Grinch, also excellent. It's a heartwarming. It's a little more feel-good movie. It is. That's, like, also, like, those are probably, you know, it's hard to narrow it down to three. With Those are, like, top four. Oh, yeah, I would say I would have to agree with uh, you. If I'm I, thinking if, if there's unless there's something, if there's one that I can that's... throw in there. Here, I'll give you a controversial one. Well, it's an older movie, too. What, like Terminator or something stupid? It's not stupid, but it's the movie Die Hard. Die Hard. Because <laughs> they are going to a Christmas party. So often people say, does that mean it's uh, a Christmas yeah, movie? Yeah, 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 stupid. No, it it's did not. come out it's around not. Christmas. It's not. Unbelievable movie. It's not. It's not. What about Ghostbusters? It's not. Not really a Christmas movie. No. Um, yeah, no. It's... I don't even think I've ever seen Die Hard, though, to be honest. Might be something that's I, I don't watched. think you probably haven't, yeah. Yeah. Um. So, really, I would just say the weird watch, we are, you know, we finished episode two of The Love Has Won. Oh, and it's on, it drops tomorrow And, night. yeah, Monday night is the third one, which is the finale. And you got to. It's one of the weirdest ones we've watched in a while. I, I don't know how I have not heard of it before. Like, there's something like, how have you not heard of it? Same with, like, the Bhopal gas. You know, I was like, how have you not heard? I've never heard of that. You know, like, how have you never heard of this cult? But I I, I've never heard of Love is One or the Bopal Gas. Yeah. yeah. But apparently she was like on Dr. Phil. Someone told me to watch the Dr. Phil 
interview. Like Mother God is on Doctor goes Phil? on Doctor Phil. What? Oh yeah, yeah. I love this. You know, that. obviously before everything happened, before everything yeah, really yeah, goes crazy. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, that was something fun too. Is I did tell my family to call me Mother God, yes, and then <laughs> and that James and I are starting a cult. For sure, the tax write off, and it was pr- and Prue's gonna be like. I think the who we worship needs to be the per- yeah exactly yeah she's this God is, this is an animal worshiping cult. yeah it's an animal worshiping um we gotta like think the rules but it's it's gonna be pretty chill well, if anyone Prue wants makes to join the rules so you just kind of gotta follow yeah we just get Prue. yeah Prue makes the rules so we just ask her she says she is all knowing and she says it's nap time she's asleep a lot of naps us. in this cult by the way you know what's funny time. is someone had said that they like when Prue makes a show. When like people can see Prue in the video, so if you're watching on YouTube, here James, just talk really quick. I'm gonna show Prue really quick. Hold on. What am I talking about? Something. Look at her. And there's the boobos. There's the doo-doos. Something that's so funny too. I know that like everyone makes this joke, but how obviously Prudence is Prue's full name. Prudence Marie is of her course. full name, but. The names that we call her, Doodoos, Boo Boo Head, Boo Boo Head, Doodle Head, New News. That's another one. New New. It's just like it makes no sense. It makes zero sense. And I, she comes to all of them. I know. It's probably very confusing for her that we have Extremely so many nicknames. Confusing. We have um, far and away less nicknames for ourselves for each other mm-hmm. and the cats combined. We have more names for Prue than anyone else. I knows. know, but she needs all the names because she's mother. Mother puppy. Mother puppy guy. All right, James, are you ready to hear you this week's weird you news? Something I am very excited to hear about this week's weird news. Okay, so here's the title of the article, okay? Okay. Brazilian women, woman who married a doll throws a gender reveal party for her second rag doll child. Okay. A Brazilian woman who married a doll, her husband, had a doll son and is now pregnant with another child, doll child. And she threw a 40 person gender reveal party for their second child. Her name is Marivone Morales, and her husband, Marcelo, a rag doll made by her mother, announced that her second child, her second doll child, is going to be a female. She says their daughter's due in December, and she revealed her name is Marcella, and they already have a son, Marcel Marcellio. The reveal video um, has her, and you guys like gotta look up the pictures. Like it's honestly like it's insane. Um, but it featured like her ragdoll husband, her her son, and a sparkler with pink smoke showing. Her 40 friends and family that she is having a girl for her new ragdoll baby. So. <laughs> Can I just ask some basic questions about this? What I need to know first. What questions did you have when you first read this? Wait, wait, wait. She said, oh, I, I wanted it to be Never a boy heard. because I've heard having a girl is a lot more expensive and a lot more work. But the baby will still be welcomed and very loved by me and her father. So, like, this is, like, I just got to, like, show this to you so you can see. Like, this is, like, the rag doll. Oh, my like, God. Yes. Anyone that's listening to this. Yeah. You need to look this up. How would they search this for this? What would you search? Rag doll. Rag doll. Brazilian. Reveal <laughs> Brazil. Yeah. I, I don't think you'll find. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of hits for that. So, you should be okay. <laughs> But you need to see mostly. Yep. You need to see what the husband ragdoll looks like because mm-hmm. it is creepy as and shit. And she has posted ultrasounds of her baby. It is so. What questions do you have? Well, she, first of all, she also, she's 37, and she put on a 250 person wedding when she tied the knot with her ragdoll husband, Marcelo, in May 21, 2022. Her mother was the one who made the rag doll after the daughter was complaining that she was still signal signal. She was still single and didn't have a dance party. And then the daughter says she fell in love with Marcelo as soon as her mom introduced her. 
and she posts apparently a bunch of TikToks. Like it, I'll I'll put her handle too, so you guys can look it up. But like, she's a bunch of um, you know, videos that she makes on TikTok with her and her husband. And she, like, does all these controversial things. Like, she claimed that, like, someone had stolen her husband and was, like, asking. (laughs) Right? Kidnapping. Exactly. Is it, though? And she says, it really upsets me when people say this is fake. It makes me so angry. I'm a woman of character. My mother and my father taught me to be honest, to be a good person, and not take advantage of anything. She is a character. I'll give her that. (laughs) What questions do you have? Well, First and foremost, what level of, and I say this with kindness in my heart to those that deal with mental health issues, because been there, yeah. done that with myself and family. Yep. So, but here's my question. And it's just how much crazy is involved in this? Yeah. Like, or is it a genius on the opposite end? Is it a genius money-making attention scheme? Because well, either way, there. There's only, I was going to say, there's only two ways it can go. Either one is yeah like she really is mentally ill there's and, some level of batshit crazy going on there and you know really believes it is or two she's you know she's scamming pretty good market she's bamboozling it, it's yeah she's going far with it because of course people are going to talk about it you know it's like the love has won it's like are you really that removed you from reality it's i know that this is talked about way too much but it is like the car accident that, mm. that's on the side of the road you want everything to be okay but we went by multiple accidents going up and back from traveling. Yep. We, you, know, you always look to see how much damage there is. Yeah. You, this is something where it's like, I need to know. Morbid what's really curiosity. Going on. We were yeah. listening to a podcast about ah. that today. You re- I really want to know what's going on here. Yeah. I hope she's okay. Well, there is this whole TLC show, you know, that network that just has the most ridiculous, insane shows. I love that group. Where it's these people fall in love with inanimate objects. True. Like this guy, you know, guy who's in love with his car and like says his car is his. Uh, This is a true thing. You know, so, you know, it's same thing. It's like men have done that a lot too with dolls. You know, it's kind of that was I think it was either like a movie or, you know, maybe they'd done a documentary on this too about a guy who was like in love with. Like a blow up like doll, blow basically. Up sex doll. Yeah. Like saying that this was his wife. And he, so I don't know if there's like a technical name for it. There is a psychological. But there's thing. definitely some trauma, some sort of. Yeah. Yeah. There's something going on because that love and connection, every human needs it. We're social species, right. no matter what you want to think about. Yep. And the brain will, just like the brain can go crazy for a serial killer thinking that you know murder is something that they see it they can't see is wrong right. these people need that love and connection so bad that they will create a new world for themselves where it's right safe. right yeah it always goes back you know to something i wonder too if like something with the family you know i mean it's always yeah you look and see how they're the raised too and the 40 people there there's some of my well, other questions and a wedding that had 250, 250 people. people so people are also seems like i can see a wedding where free booze free everything i'm going to show up to see what's going on yep but now that we're past the wedding and this is a few years in and you're her family members yeah and 40 of you show up to a gender reveal that's a lot I know, and I haven't had a chance to, like, really do a deep dive on her social media, but I'm pretty excited to, like... The wedding, you, I can see her pulling that off, because if it's a free wedding and you get invited, you're going to go, right? Right. Free food, free drinks. But years down the road, this is still going on with the dolls, and now there's a gender reveal. Yeah. And I want to know, like, how does she know she's pregnant? How far did she go? Did she really get pregnant for this thing? You or know. is she just gonna toss a ball out of her toss a doll out of her vagina later? I mean, she just says I was trying to like find if there was like a an you know, a story that it's you know, went into more details. But um <laughs> like like it, it's gotta be some sort of illusion because she, I just saw another found another article about it earlier, like this happened six months ago when they were actually it looks like it was, it was a year ago when they first had their first baby and she goes, it's true. Marcelo got me pregnant. He didn't 
take care of himself and he didn't use a condom. He got me pregnant. I took the test and it was positive. Like she really does. Like, I feel like she really thinks this is like a real. All right. She gave birth at home in just 35 minutes with a doctor and a nurse on site. Wait, while live streaming it. Oh, that's a new level. <laughs> I don't Wait. know if I want to see the live stream. She goes, I didn't see the contractions. In, I was in so much pain, but seeing the placenta and the umbilical cord and the blood made it all real. He was here in 35 minutes. He couldn't wait to come into the world. Stop. She goes, the, she's asking about her husband, if her husband, like, you know, this article is like, have, you know, how has he been with the baby? Has your husband been helping? And she goes, he has many great qualities, but the only downside is he's lazy. He can't work. And so he doesn't work or make any money. I'm the breadwinner. But I'm a warrior and keep going for us. Like, and I need to know. So that's why it's like, wait, is this a joke? I can't tell. Now Uh, I want to know for these reporters. They're obviously prepped to interview her as if that this is a serious thing. Like, right. You're not allowed to make fun of this person. No, this is a straightforward. No, she, you know, I mean, who knows? I got to watch these videos. I got to find I got to find her TikTok. Um, I'll post it once I find it, you guys. I promise. But this is pretty wild. Can't wait to uh, watch the birth video. Yeah, it sounds like miracles sounds... can happen. Miracles happen once in a while. Um, well, that was riveting. I mean, listen, guys, if you're single, there's always hope. You know, you could always have your mom make you a rag doll. Yeah, there's always, you know, what do they say? A just peg ins- for every hole or this could peg be you in the butt hole. Inspirational for some people. Right. This is inspirational. There's a what what is it? There's a peg for every is it peg for every hole, peg in the butt hole? There's a peg in the hole. I don't remember hearing about that one when I was <laughs> okay. growing up. Okay. You guys know what I mean. All right. I think it's that time. <gasps> For secret, 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 I have not ever heard you do a turkey impression. I think that's the first time I've ever seen you do that. Should I do a turkey with a Jamaican accent? Probably. <laughs> Could totally tell that was a Jamaican turkey. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. Okay, so if you want to call in and tell us a weird secret, you know, holidays are, are near. So, obviously... We had asked for some Thanksgiving. Some weird holiday stories. Yeah. So, you know, obviously it can be anything weird, but, you know, to be. Did we get any Kwanzaa callers? No. Mm, I can't believe there's not one Kwanzaa follower. We need to hear more about somebody that celebrates Kwanzaa. I need it. You guys, I need it. I need to know. And there's a cat. Um, oh my god, there's a floofy cat if you're looking on YouTube. There's a big black floofy cat, floofy, floofy cat. Um, if you want to call in, leave us a weird secret. You can call in too. That's speakpipe.com slash weird and proud pod. Again, speakpipe.com slash weird and proud pod. I'll also put it in the description of the podcast. It's also in the Instagram bio. Weird and Proud Pod, if you follow on Instagram. If you don't, please do. Why aren't you? Yes. Why aren't you? Uh, there's really riveting stuff on there. Um, but yeah, so here are some of the best Thanksgiving. It's always tough, like, you know, with some of these. It's always so funny. And it's like, God bless some of these secrets that some people call in. But it's like, <laughs> it's like not that weird. And like, I know that like not everyone has like, a you know, a weird bunch of shit going on in their lives no. and a weird ass family. But weird is but, a relative term. 
Right. Yes. And yeah, it's like, how do you define your weird? You know, um, but we did get some good ones. So, James, are you ready for some weird Thanksgiving Prepare. stories? Can't wait. All right. Here we go. Hi, hope you had a great Thanksgiving. I had my nieces and my mom over for Thanksgiving. I hosted and my mom has been in assisted living. So we decided after dinner to play Cards Against Humanity, and we gave my mom as many of the dirty cards as we possibly could. She learned a lot. She knew what smegma was, but then she asked the ultimate question, what exactly is jizz? So that was fun, having to explain to my mom what jizz is. It was awesome. (laughs) That is incredible. This is why we wanted holiday stories. Yes. The the magic of the holidays. We're getting to explain to your mom who doesn't even live on her own what jizz is. Like, that's just a beautiful moment. But she did know what smegma is. Do you know what that is? I didn't know that one right away. Okay. If you don't know what smegma is. Actually, you know what? I'm going to look up the exact definition because (laughs) it's like, I don't even. peritoneum sweat? What the fuck is that? Peritoneum is the thing. Between your crotch and your oh, mouth. your grundle. Yeah, that's the grundle. Yes. Um, so kind of, I think that might be, but here is the the Webster dictionary definition: the secretion in the folds of the secretion in the folds of the skin under a man's foreskin. Got it. Not the same. Got it. I I see what it is. So it's, you know. Mostly for a lot of men who aren't circumcised. Uncircumcised, yeah. 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 And it, uh, thank the good Lord. I don't have to deal with that. But I, I remember when I had done secrets of people like, you know, writing in on Instagram. I've heard of some stories about that. The smegma. Yeah. About some. I just gross love situations. the fact that they purposely gave mom all of the dirty cards i know i love that you did that to make it more entertaining hell yeah yeah, good for you yeah that's that's weird and proud right there that's weird and proud and i'm sure she loved it again if she knew what smegma 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 i don't know how you pronounce that that's like she's pretty advanced like that's progressive we're what is grandma doing we're we're gonna encourage everyone who's listening Please play games like this with family members that yeah, are cards of humanity. far too strict because yeah. they know more than you think they do. Get, yes. Get and make sure to stack make the things deck in your favor. Yeah. Give the give to the most uptight family members. Give the craziest shit. Yeah. And my question too is like, so when she did ask, what is jizz? Like, what'd you say? Well, since she's had kids, I'm sure it wasn't that hard to explain. Well, like, how do you explain that? Like, jizz is sperm? Yeah, that's what I'd say. Yeah, sperm. Sperm. Well, that was an amazing story. Thank you so much yeah. for calling in. And that's a good holiday story right there. And that's, we're always, like, looking for new games. I mean, I've never played so many games than when we do, you know, when I'm with my family. Like, yeah, of over, course. like, well, the holidays. You were, we're, your dad, your brother, and I kind of love games of all kinds. Yes. And it's a great time. Yeah, it's great bonding. Like, I feel like playing games, great bonding. Then you're not just, like, watching TV or, you know, it's just, it's, we've never laughed so hard some of the games we play, which categories has been a really big one this year. Wow. If you haven't played categories, so much fun. And then the other game, too, that we, I never heard of, that my brother brought over that we were playing, Clask. Newer game. New game. It's from Sweden. K L A S K. You guys gotta look this game up. It's a magnetic air hockey game. It, yeah, it's the closest way to describe it is like a mini air hockey table. Air hockey with a little bit of technique because there's some weird ass rules involved. In it. Yeah, it's kind of b- like bizarre, but f- like look it up. So K-L-A-S-K. cool. And fun. K-L-A-S-K. Yeah, look it up. You have to watch videos. Um, that was another, that was a good, like one that I just like hadn't ever seen before. I feel like that would be a good gift. I mean, this is not sponsored obviously, but I feel like that would be a good gift. Class if you have... would be a great gift. If you have people in your family that like to play games and do stuff yeah. and anyone yeah. can do it. Yeah. Anyone can do it. Um, all right, James, are you ready for Prepared. the next secret? All right, here we go. 
Hi, Sam. My name is Celine, and I would love to tell you a super quick story about my Thanksgiving. Um, basically, my boyfriend and I went to his brother's house, and they invited, you know, a good bit of family. And they were like, oh, your dog is also welcome, my little dog, Lulu. And they have a bigger dog. And so, like, you know, they were like, yeah, your dog is welcome. So we bring Lulu. And their first interaction, Lulu and Ziggy, their dog, is to fucking fight. So Lulu goes and runs into the backyard. And Ziggy just immediately attacks her. So that's how we start our Thanksgiving. Um, and then the rest of the evening, like, they literally have these bouts of trying to fight each other. And Ziggy, their dog, is always starting it. He's such a little shit. My dog is the cutest, sweetest, like most, like she will love any dog. Um, so like literally instead of them being like, oh, sorry, our dog is being really nasty. Like we'll put him in another room. They didn't, it didn't occur to them to like put their dog in another room. So the entire Thanksgiving dinner, Lulu had to be on our lap to separate them. But like, why like, Why could they not suggest putting their dog in another room? Does that make so much sense? Ugh. So, listen, this is why I've been burned kind of by this before where like people are like, oh, my dog's really, really friendly. Bring your dog. And then we get there and the dog is not friendly. And then I just like, I can't be like, I can't relax if Prue's stressed out. No. Like, if I'm worrying about Prue, it's not going to be a fun event for me to go to. Like, so it's like, I feel you. Like, if your dog is uncomfortable and, yeah, like, a lot of times if we're out, like, I we have to, like, bring her a little bed because she we just. We bring all the things. We, yeah, we, like, have, like, a whole, like, bag we have to bring for her because um, she's just a little anxious girly. And, you know, so I feel that because I do, like, love to bring Prue around, but. Especially like at parties too, it's an easy way for dogs to get overwhelmed. Are you on Team Lulu or Team Ziggy on this one? So, I would say if I said to someone, "Bring your dog over, please bring your dog," and my dog was the one instigating and being an, an ass. I mean, even if their dog was kind of starting it, it's like you ask them to bring the dog over. Yeah, you know, like yeah, like put your dog away or put out, you know, or whatever, you know, create it, what whatever you need to do. But if yeah, if they were doing nothing about it, I would be I would be upset too. I I'm feel team like Lulu. Lulu yeah. sounds like the innocent little princess. I know it kind of reminds me of Prue. Except Prue would be the one. Prue and Lulu. The I know. Well, that's <laughs> the thing. Prue would be the one instigating it. Like she just gets overwhelmed, and she also like especially like Prue gets overwhelmed around food. Yeah, a lot. And when there's that like, much when food's food. involved, like she's had you know with her past we have fixed her relationship with other dogs and yeah maybe she'll we should give along this, what's should we tell what the big secret has been with what? Prue when introducing her to another dog friends N friends yes now she knows the word friends yeah also neutral territory <sighs> neutral territory yes that is such a great tip james we have her we have Prue meet other animals even if they're coming to our house yep. we have Prue meet them outside yes so that that uh, protect the wolf den instinct mm. of the dog yeah. is kind of put down and they meet this other dog get familiar with the smells because that's the most important thing a dog needs is a yep. familiar smell and then bring them in the house together and it yeah. works so much better. so much better so yeah prue and my brother's dog hugo i posted about them they prue used to try and kill hugo anytime hugo's Five times as big as Bruce. Yeah, Hugo's five times the size, but he's just like the, the most, boy. yeah, like passive. Like he's just like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And Prue like tries to rip his head off. And I think this was a dog training trip that we had gotten. Like, I we were trying to solve it, and I was like, Yeah, let's, let's bring him outside. Meet outside. Yeah, we tried that once. And yeah. it worked awesome and, and it's, it's better completely different and now they're best friends now they're best friends no it doesn't matter so like yeah so if you have people coming over bring your dogs outside have them meet outside and then once they're comfortable you know let them run around let them smell each other's butts you let know and a lot of times too like let them pee and then they can smell each other's pee which you know we've Very also important. learned yeah 
like tell so much about a dog, like how they're feeling, you know, so like that's really important too for them to be able to smell each other. And then the dogs also see that their mommies and daddies get along as well. Yeah. And again, it with the house dog, they're always going to be in protection mode if you start in protection mode. Right. They're not going to get out of that. And then they're like, you know, and then the other dog's being protective and then they're off to a bad start. But and if then they're you can't... outside and you can start it off better, it seems to work better. Yeah. yeah. Thought I'd throw the tip in there too. I like it, James. Good good add in because that is that's made a huge huge difference like now i feel like we're, we're, we won't go to like someone's house unless we can you know br- if we have to bring pru we'll always meet introduce outside, outside. Meet outside. Yeah. it works great all right anyways team lulu we team support lulu. lulu yep all right james are you ready for our last one ready and this one this one is a good one okay here we go so me and my cousins were doing some edibles at thanksgiving and my mom saw us talking about it. So she was like, okay, just give me a little piece. And she literally always talks about how against weed she is. So we were like, yes, please take some. 30 minutes later, my dad had made one joke and she actually pissed her pants. Like she peed all over the couch on the floor. And now our entire living room smells like urine. And my mom is somehow mad at me. First of all, I- I don't know if you're reading from something. It sounded like an automated voice. Or like an automated. I was like, I don't know if that was like added by something or like or else. Or if you just have like a uh, perfect like an automated voice. Off yeah. Or like an, yeah. Maybe someone like. Um, but. Have you ever laughed so hard you've peed yourself? Not that I can think of. I've seen someone else do it, but they were drunk, too, on top of it. Yeah, I don't. I was trying to think if I've ever peed myself like laughing. Like you let a little tiny squirt out or something. Yeah, like maybe a squirtle, but I don't know if I ever have. But if I, I mean, I would remember if I'd done it in front of people yeah, or like yeah, yeah. El, you know, if it was like really obvious. And I think I told you before too. I peed. Um, I did pee by accident when I was drunk too. I yes. yeah. Um, but I never, yeah, never like laughing so hard. But um, if this is like a robot AI person, or maybe like you just didn't want your voice, I don't know. But, or maybe you just have like a perfect voice. I'm not going to, I'm okay either way. Either way. Either way, um, that's kind of hilarious. And the fact that um, she peed all over the couch. I mean, the fact too that it was the couch is a lot. I would have like tried, you know, I feel like I was trying to hide it, but... It's, it's kind of hard to hide it if you like, if it's a bright color couch and you pee and then you get up and there's a huge stain. I love it that the holidays are bringing families closer together with drugs and dirty words. Drugs and schmegma. Yeah. It's kind of a gorgeous thing. Together. The story had me from the start where we were doing some edibles over Thanksgiving and I'm like, right. that's a good start to a story. Yeah. And then get mom involved. Gotta love it. I know. Well, you know, it's always too. It's the parents that always are like against weed. When mom had probably tried it at some point. When mom had definitely, yeah. You know, it's always those ones that end up getting blasted. Um, You know what else I have a question about? What? What joke did dad tell that was so funny? (gasps) What joke did dad tell that was so funny? That's an obvious question. Show yourself. We need to know, person, whoever this was that called, that called in. Um, but yeah, that's, this could have been the person that hacked your, <gasps> could it, that's something to think about, Robot hack. something to think about. Um, but I think, um, I think edibles, like if that's like one way to really bond with your family, if everyone, like, obviously you don't want them to get like blasted or like, you know, you don't hurt want themselves. To get hurt. But there's nothing like just like a little edible for everyone and some giggles. Just to kind of calm the mood. Calm the mood. Then you're like enjoying food. Everyone's kind of chilled out. Like that's the thing with drinking. Like, yeah, like sometimes, I mean, obviously drinking is fun. And, you know, drinking also can bring you together to some extent. But like, you know, there's always that risk that someone gets too drunk that someone says something 
And I feel like when you're high or like if you take a little edible, like you're not going to like say something or do something, you know, as bad as you would if you were drinking. Test you it agree? out. I do test it out. I've never done anything <laughs> that I regretted except eating too much. When I've... But I have done many, many, many a things that I regretted when I was drinking. So, yeah. So maybe that's something to think about, you guys. Get a little gummy. Say, you know what, you guys? Let's all just take a little gummy. Better yet, I'd love a true story of somebody bringing some, like, weed desserts to a Christmas-type party. Or yeah. Not, you know, Thanksgiving, where no one really knew they were getting high, but they did. I know, but, you know, that can be a little risky. And, yeah. you know, like, that's... There were some people... There was this big story. I don't know if you guys had heard about this, about these people at a wedding. And the groomsmen it was actually the groomsmen that gave adderall or like basically crushed up adderall and put it into the groom's drink oh no because he was like complaining he was tired and they were like here take an adderall you know he's like you know he wanted something to like give him some energy and he was like no no no, like i can't take an adderall because like then i'll be like out of my mind and so they like crush it up and put it in his drink and you know, he was like, I was so jittery the rest of the night. Like, I couldn't focus. I was having a panic attack. And I f- from what I last remember, like, he, s- like, sued them. Like, for... Really? Yeah. <laughs> or tried to. Or, like, something happened where they got law enforcement involved. Really? And were like, yeah, these people drugged me. So, so don't drug scary. people. So, yeah. <laughs> Do it to family, at least people that aren't good. Yeah, or just be like, yeah, I mean, just a little, you know, just say it's good for you. It's giggles. I thought of a story. I don't know if you want to share this. What? Do you want to share the mooning story? Oh, my God. Sorry, I thought I'd bring that in just in case you wanted. Oh, my God. Okay. Talk about the last time I've laughed really, really, really hard. I didn't pee myself, but I did laugh really, really, really hard. So, (laughs) James and I and my family, which was my dad, my brother, and his wife, the night that we got into Maine, we went to dinner in Portland, and we were driving home, and... The three guys were in the back. The three guys were in the back because they were all drinking, and my my sister-in-law, my brother's wife, doesn't drink. So she was driving, and then I was in the passenger seat. So us two were up front, and then the boys were in the back. And we're driving, and this car next to us, like, had these two young boys, and they were, like, looking out the window and trying to get our attention, and um, we're trying to, like, drive right next to us to talk to us. And they were just being obnoxious. The back seat windows are tinted out so they can't see the guys yes so they couldn't see the boys in the back so they just saw us two up front and you know so of course the boys in the back are dying and we're like oh my god we need to do something and i told my brother to moon them i was like ian you should moon them and my brother was like no 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 (laughs) but guess who would moon them James. It's worth a laugh. James, I've never seen someone so efficient in his mooning. Not my first time. Not his first time mooning someone, obviously. He literally, like the most efficient, like a gorgeous swan, just efficiently, you know, just no one saw anything else. Rolled down the window, stuck his ass out. Your dad was and right them. next to him. And yeah, yeah, like it was three of them in the backseat. Like they, his yeah. dad, her dad was right next to him. Yeah. And the boys, like, I, you know, obviously we can only see him for a quick second, but they 100% saw, and they, you know, all we could see is that they were, like, hitting each other, dying, laughing. And it was, like, that was, like, when I was, like, wow, like, yeah, James is, he's the one. Holiday memories. It's funny, I'm wearing a shirt that says, show me that butthole, too. Oh, my God, I didn't even notice. (laughs) Holiday memories. And I, like, you know, those boys... Like, I would do anything to hear, like, what they were talking about afterwards. Because it was the funniest part, is you could tell that they were trying yeah, to the, talk to you two. Yes. They were not expecting they did to not see a white ass come out the window. A no. white man's hairy grundle butthole in their face. And, like, you know, my sister-in-law timed it out perfectly. So we drove by them right, you know, because we were kind of, like, doing the thing where, like, they would drive up a little bit, a little bit. 
we would go back and she just drove perfectly so it was the most gorgeous moon moon and not the one in the sky no it was a good moon it was the best moon i've ever seen and it was your moon james your full moon blue moon remember that was that from? i saw you standing alone that's uh remember they moon in that scene too blue moon anyways thank you for reminding me of that i thought i'd bring that story because that was kind of the hero of that tale that but, was you were the hero but we bring that one up. literally all were crying that's why i was very happy with how hard i did not think everyone was i know i wish i could have like filmed that somehow or like you know but it was just it was a, a moment in time that was it was too good and we will savor that moment for the rest of our lives james and you gave us that gift just so. wanted to share some things and it was your butthole just wanted to share a little just wanted to share my butthole anyways if you guys want to call in and leave us a weird secret maybe you moon someone maybe you got too drunk at holiday at, stories at, uh, the christmas party maybe you did something at an uh office party office holiday party i'm sure oh, someone did something ones. or just like a weird secret in general you know you, you just want to you know get something off your chest you shit in a in a van down by the river i don't know just call us in and you can call us in at that's speakpipe.com slash weird and proud pod. Again, speakpipe.com slash weird and proud pod. Always anonymous, up to a minute and 30 seconds. You got to record it. And uh, we love you guys. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. And don't, don't forget. Thank you for listening. If you could, before you go, make sure you are following and subscribe. So just in case, you know, God forbid, hopefully nothing like that ever happens again, but make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're following along either on Al Apple podcast or Spotify. Um, and if you could five star review would literally mean the world to us, the world. You have no idea how big of a difference that makes. And also make sure you're following the Instagram weird and proud pods. So you can get all the updates. If you know, things are going cray cray, things go amiss. But we love you guys so much. We hope you have a great start to December. Holy Holidays shit. are coming. It's almost December. And don't forget, if someone is Kwanzaa, please call us. I yeah, need to know everything Kwanzaa about story. Kwanzaa. Tell us Kwanzaa facts. All right. We love you guys so much. We hope you have a great week. Stay we'll see weird. you next time. See you next time, weirdos. Stay weirdos. Take